Hi, when we're doing drawings on Visio, sometimes we want to make use of instrumentation. I'm just going to outline how you might show that on a process diagram. So, for instance, uh, we have a project where we're trying to outline uh, a couple of pieces of instrumentation. So we have our hot water boiler, which feeds a pipeline, and then our pipeline also has a flow switch, a low water switch, and a thermostat that all connect to our boiler. Um, so if we wanted to show that on a Visio diagram, uh, I'm just going to explain to you how we might go about doing that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go to my instruments, and I'm going to grab uh, an indicator. Okay, so yes, I know I have switches and thermostats and other things, but uh, I'm going to use an indicator as my sort of default shape. Um, I'm going to right click on this and when I right click on it I'm going to set instrument type. And I can add in some information about my object but the most, the most important thing is going to be the bottom two uh, components. So first of all I have remote that's showing in terms of the type of uh, of uh, instrument and that is this line that goes across the circle. Um, however this is a local device uh, so I'm going to switch it to local. I also have an instrument type of it is a um, flow switch so I'll type in FS and hit OK. And so now I have an FS shown in my uh, object and I could increase the text size if I wanted to um, to make it a little larger. I'm going to use my connector tool and I'm going to use that to connect my instrument to my pipeline so I can see that it is reading the pipeline. Um, and then also uh, what I might do is uh, I could use my connector tool to connect an electrical line to my boiler. This line, because it's an electrical signal, uh, I may want it to be a dashed line, and I can just change the properties of that line to be a dashed line. Okay, I may repeat the process, so indicator here, um, and I'll put another indicator here, going to right click on this one, set the instrument type to local. This is going to be a low water switch. And I'll continue with connecting to my process. And as an alternate way that I could connect that, of course I could use my pipeline to connect to the the the, the main hot water line. Um, and in addition, in my instrument section, um, I do have a library of different lines. So um, if I was using a pneumatic line or something else that wasn't one of my standard uh, seven or eight different line choices, um, I could always use a line that um, is also out of that library. Um, I'm going to just delete this though and continue with the same style of line so that it is consistent from um, component to component. Okay, I've got one more left here. I have my thermostat. Um, going to set my instrument type to local. It is a, call it a temperature switch. Increase my font size. Connect. And connect. So I've created my 
instrumentation. They all connect back to the hot water boiler and they provide me some information on my diagram. Flow switch, low water switch, temperature switch, uh, which is my three main controls for that hot water boiler.